11 Historical Places That Are Lucky To Still Exist Number 11. The Colosseum We might not always think about it, but many of the historical landmarks that we know of today have survived incredible circumstances, ranging from warfare, natural disasters, and just from being extremely old. There's reasons why only one out of seven ancient wonders of the world are left standing, and we only see a fraction of the great historical landmarks that once existed on Earth. The Colosseum is a perfect example. It was constructed in the first century AD, and it's lucky to still exist. In the year 296 AD, lightning struck the wooden floor of the arena, and much of the enormous amphitheater was set ablaze by Mother Nature. If that didn't already seem unlucky enough, lightning struck again, but luckily, it didn't catch on fire this time. In 455 AD, Rome was completely sacked by barbarians from the north. Its colossal size kept it from lying in a pile of rubble, but it was relentlessly pillaged for loot and stone. The Colosseum we see today is only two-thirds of the original structure. Number 10. The Parthenon Athens While exploring many remarkable ancient Greek ruins, you may notice the Parthenon in Athens, which isn't exactly in its best condition. This enormous temple, dedicated to the goddess Athena, was certainly one of the finest examples of Doric architecture and completed in the 5th century BC. It's been through quite a bit of punishment in the past, and it's truly a miracle that it's still standing, and not some mythical place that's completely destroyed. The Ottoman Turks, who occupy Greece, used this ancient temple as an ammunition and gunpowder storage depot. The Venetians bombarded the city and the Parthenon exploded, destroying much of the temple and its artwork. Reconstruction efforts have been diligent in recent years, but certainly it's not even close to the former jewel that it once was. The pillars still stand tall and we should consider ourselves lucky that some of it still even exists at all. Number 9. Queen Hatshepsut's Temple Built by a woman named Queen Hatshepsut, she revolutionized architecture in Egypt by constructing this unbelievable funerary temple. She's the second confirmed female pharaoh, and she came into power since her father, Tutmosis, never had a son. She's often portrayed as a man and wore the ceremonial beard you see here. Located in Dier el Bari, this temple complex is an example of perfect symmetry and was completed in the 15th century BC. For reasons still unclear to this day, her son, Tutmosis III, ordered that his men try to erase any written history of his mother. This included scratching out her name from monuments and even destroying many statues that sat at this remarkable temple. Here in this photo, we see what used to be her image receiving a blessing from Amun-Ra that was completely carved out. Why he didn't just go the next step and just completely destroy her greatest monument is still somewhat of a mystery. Unstable politics in Egypt, as well as foreign invading armies who occupy this country, make it a wonder this place still exists. Number 8. Ancient Basra The ancient city of Basra has been mentioned as far back as the 14th century BC in Egyptian documents. Here in this photo, we see the ancient Roman amphitheater that was built by the Romans and is still used today for its excellent acoustics. The city is located in the country of Syria, and this amphitheater was originally built outside the city walls, but later enclosed by a fortress. The theater is constructed out of black basalt in the 1st century AD, and can seat a maximum of 15,000 people. It was one of the biggest arenas ever built by the Romans, despite its distance from Rome. The ancient city of Basra was once an extremely important trading destination and was once home to people of all religions. In 2015, people reported that parts were damaged due to political instability in this area. Number 7. Abu Simbel Temple These giant rock sculptures are found in Egypt near the border of Sudan and they're lucky to survive complete destruction. There were some archaeologists willing to dedicate their time and energy in saving these magnificent structures. During the reign of Ramses II in the 13th century BC, he built a huge monument to himself and his queen Nefertiti that he wanted to last for eternity. However, his great achievement was under threat from the rising waters of the Nile after the construction of the Aswan Dam. These were about to become an underwater monument if they didn't move them soon. The pieces of the precious statue were chopped up, and the temple was reconstructed and put back together like a 3D jigsaw puzzle. Number 6. Leaning Tower of Pisa During World War II, the Americans began to believe that the Germans were using the tower as an observation post. A young spy, Leon Wechstein, was sent to get as close as possible to it and was ordered to send recon about this place. Luckily, for the historic location of the Renaissance, it wasn't crawling with Nazis or it's very likely this would have been blown to smithereens. Number 5. Knossos 
finding the ancient capital of the Minoan Empire is one of the most remarkable archaeological discoveries of ancient cities of all time. The disappearance of the Minoans is still somewhat of a mystery, but many believe that a natural disaster such as an earthquake is possible. Some would assume that the island of Crete would have some influence from ancient Greece, but that's not the case. In fact, the ancient Minoans had a language that was completely different. The city itself dates back to about 2000 BC and believed to be the oldest city in all of Europe. It's possible that at some point in time, around 1100 BC, the city was abandoned under mysterious circumstances. The urban area reached about 18,000 people around 2000 BC, but at its peak, it could have hosted about 100,000 people, which was huge in ancient times. Amazing artwork and also pottery was uncovered like you see here. Tourists who visit the island of Crete can still be amazed by this Bronze Age city. Number 4. Pompeii the city of Pompeii was once a thriving colony of the Roman Empire until it was completely covered in volcanic ash in 79 AD. The town located near modern-day Naples is now one of the best preserved ancient cities in all of Europe. It was home to amenities such as an amphitheater, a gymnasium, and a complex water system. At its peak, it reached a population of about 11,000 people. Some of the inhabitants are still preserved from the very thing that brought their demise. This is one of the only places in the world where people were turned into statues. Them and the entire city were buried in ashes from Mount Vesuvius' explosion. Here in this photo, we see what's left of the temple to Jupiter and the volcano that brought the end of the thriving settlement. After being well preserved under about 10 feet of ash, it was rediscovered in 1599 while digging a channel. Currently, it's one of the most popular tourist attractions in Italy. However, it's being quickly damaged from erosion, vandalism, and light exposure. Number 3. Palmyra This historical site is hanging on to life by a thread and is under severe threat of being completely wiped off the map. Celebrated as the Pearl of the Desert, Palmyra, located in Syria, was a thriving trade city along the Silk Road, which traded goods as far away as India. Remnants of this city show what mankind was capable of in the middle of the desert, with barely any resources nearby. Temples once stood here for thousands of years. It reached its golden age in 260 AD, after the Palmyrian Empire was victorious in battle against the Persians. The empire here displayed a unique culture, but artwork and architecture displayed showed influence from Romans and Greeks. It's truly hard to tell you what still exists since the Google Maps in this area seems to be outdated, but it's believed that parts of it still remain. Here in this photo, we see the tetrapylon that was destroyed in 2017. And here is the Temple of Bell that was also destroyed, but in 2015. This was due to civil unrest and diluting. Something needs to be done quickly before all evidence of this ancient civilization is wiped off the map. Number 2. Ancient City of Petra Follow this mysterious passageway and see what you'll discover. This historical city in Jordan is most well known for its buildings cut from rock. It also goes by the name of Rose City due to the color of stone that it's built from. Around 312 BC, it was the capital of the Nabataeans and where nomadic traders would settle down in the middle of the desert. No one even knew about this place until it was discovered in 1812 and to this day, there's still things we don't know about this place. It was described as being one of the most precious cultural properties of man's cultural heritage by UNESCO. This theater that you see here was carved out of the cliffside. This photo is of the well-known El Deir, translating to the monastery. The views of the desert from the city can be quite remarkable. However, visit this one while you still can. Water erosion and heavy amounts of tourism are causing irreparable damage to these ancient monuments. Number 1. Mohenjo Daro Considered to be among some of the finest city builders in all the world, the Indus Valley civilization inhabited parts of western India and Pakistan. This advanced culture prospered during the Bronze Age around 330 BC to 1300 BC. Remarkably, one of their biggest cities still exists despite the test of time. Built around 3000 BC, this city certainly rivals any infrastructure found from Mesopotamia or ancient Egypt at the time. This was a well-planned city that's based on a street grid like we see in modern times. This historic place is found in Pakistan and is known to have supported large bathhouses, structures to house 5,000 people, granaries, two large assembly halls, and much more. There could certainly be more parts of this city that haven't been discovered yet. The Pakistani government warned that this site was badly in need of conservation funding or the site would be completely gone in about 13 years. 